I'm a huge fan of DIY home improvement projects, whether it's working on my own place or doing stuff at my mom's house. I've constantly got a project going, sometimes too many projects, honestly. But now here in Houston, the fall is a great time to ro roll up your sleeves and tackle some home improvement projects, especially as the weather is cooling down. And today we have Houston Life reporter Dee Brown, who has teamed up with her dad to add some eye-catching charm to the space. And your dad is Lawrence, right? Yes. It's so nice that you came by the show, Mr. My Lawrence. Pleasure. My pleasure. Now, listen, you're the real deal because you worked as an architect for 20 years, right? right. Mm -hmm. And then you decided to start your own company. Correct. Tell me about your company. Uh, my company is Solid Foundation Construction, and uh, you know we do. Uh, we've been in business for over 20 years, and uh, we do a lot of resident, residential remodeling, renovation. We do some light commercial, new construction. So a little bit of everything. Okay, so someone is about to jump into a, a huge remodeling project, they, they right. could call you. But what about for people at home who maybe have a leaky faucet or a leaky toilet or, you know, little things around the house that we just, we start to overlook because yeah. we just get yeah. used to stuff not working. Exactly. But maybe we don't want to hire someone to do it or money is tight or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what are some quick tips when it comes to these home improvement projects that many of us are maybe wanting to avoid? Yeah. Mm. Well, first of all, uh, if you plan on doing a home improvement little project, uh, determine what it is you want to do. And then what you uh, want to do, how much you want to spend. And also, uh, if you, depends on what it is, do you need uh, a professional or do, can you do it yourself? Then also the last thing to determine is uh, how long it's going to take. So uh, it can vary, depends on what your ideas are and what you want to do. Okay, so. now today we're going to focus on doing things on the cheap, right? right. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and also, you two spent the weekend doing a little yes. father-daughter <laughs> Probably action. a little yeah. bit more father in some cases, but yes. Yeah. We... And how'd it go? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge. It was interesting. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> let me say this. For the most part, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. But it did get to a point where I started, like, snacking on Chipotle chips, and I started watching my dad, and I was supporting him with an applause, like, all that. My back started hurting. I don't know if I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what was going on. Well, but. well, this is not you working with your dad. This is actually video of me. This is my mom's <laughs> living room in Salt Lake City. Uh, we. <laughs> We because you do to... projects with your mom all the time, right? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. I mean, this project in particular, when we decided to paint the entire main floor mm -hmm. of her home. Yeah. And, oh, my gosh, it took days and days and days. Yeah. Um, you know, I love a good home DIY project. For sure. But, Lawrence, one of the things, one of the quick tips that you just talked about is determining which projects to tackle yourself right. and which projects to hire a professional for. How do you make that determination? Because it seems like these projects always take longer exactly. than they're supposed to. For sure. Right, right. Well, I would say uh, start off with something simple. Like uh, a faucet is a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, changing out a light fixture, uh, changing out a receptacle, uh, somewhere along that line where it don't take that many tools or, you know, if, uh, uh, or if you get into something that, say, you want to change out, uh, say, laminate floor and tile, something that's going to take a lot of lot of pro a long time to do then i would say call in a professional yeah, well because it can be yeah. can be very i have to say too youtube videos are very helpful i retile my are. entire bathroom and i watched probably a right. hundred and i videos changed before. out a shower head just from youtube totally yeah speaking of changing the shower head so you two had four projects this yes. weekend you right. tackled i want to start with the first one which you installed a charging station uh, yeah like a cell phone charging station so at home. i am the person that's me actually yeah. there please um, tell me you turn the power off before you no, I didn't, and my hair <laughs> blew up when I got electrocuted, so no, I'm kidding. That explains the hair today. Yeah, it's like Diana Ross, right? You. But That's no, good. what we wanted to do here was just to kind of upgrade our little charging area for our cell phones and where we put our actual mail and hang our keys. So it's actually like a USB like socket thingy. Is that right, Dad? Oh, I can see. I, it. Yeah, it's yeah. something USB, like yeah, I'm working on the terminology uh -huh. here, but this is the before and after picture. The before picture is a little raggedy, but the second one is super cute. You know, I, I love this because it totally takes the clutter away yeah, from your. It from takes your countertop. the clutter away, right. and the socket actually cost twenty five dollars at Lowe's, and then I actually got the accessory pieces at Home Goods, and so I uh, literally did not spend a lot. And you of turned off the it. power. You did black wire to black wire, white to white. Okay, let's yep. move on to the next per project. Perfect. You did a TV. Mount. Yes. Okay. Now so, I see you're using a. Is that an Allen wrench there? I have no idea uh -huh. what that's called. It's that's called an Allen wrench. I just went for it because my dad told me to grab it. But <laughs> but. You know the name of it. Yeah, so. I did. <laughs> and 
it looks like I'm really getting in there. I mean, like, I, yeah. I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Um, it was pretty easy for the most part. My dad totally walked me through it. It was super easy. Um, I really liked it. This is a before picture. This is why we put it up to begin with, because oh, my kid likes to walk up to the little tele one. Yeah. yeah. You don't want, he's, eventually he's going to be tall exactly. enough to pull that Exactly. Well, he already is. This is an old picture. So we had to make a change fast, and this is the oh, after. Oh, see, and look how good that looks. Yeah, and it's yeah. a mid-century modern, like, whole decor theme. And we also got this piece from... Lowe's as well. You're a woman after my own heart, T. Oh, Brown. That's I love me. that mid-century modern. All right, moving on to some bathroom shelves, project yes. number three. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you did here. Okay, so this is actually my dad screwing them in. This is kind of when I took a break because I didn't, I just kind of tapped out for a second. You took a but break to hold the camera. I did. I took a break to hold the camera and have some lemonade, but we're just actually installing the shelves here, right? Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm just putting them in, and honestly, it was super easy and simple. He had to really assist me with actually the measurements and things like that so they wouldn't be crooked. Yeah, Lawrence, how yeah. did you set up this project? Because obviously, if someone's drilling pilot holes for right. a shelf, you want to make sure things are not crooked, right? Right. So how did right. you prep for it? Well, with my experience, it's a shortcut I can do to come up with, uh, uh, to line things up a little level, because we didn't have all the proper tools. You know, we didn't have a long level, so yeah. we had maybe like a one-foot level. So, <laughs> so what I did was, uh, like the shelf there, determined the height of it. I just measured from the ceiling down, put a mark on it, go to the other side, put the same distance on it, then mount, mount the uh, brackets right at that, uh, that tick mark on the uh, thing and you're just shit on. You, have, you have the pro eye, you're just that yeah. good. Everything was straight yeah. afterward. I'm not, clearly, I, I took the journalism <laughs> route and not the construction. Well, well, we have one last project, the office light. Now, yes. doing any sort of electrical work, I know for a lot of people, I remember the first light fixture I replaced, mm -hmm. that was definitely intimidating. As long as the power is off though, exactly. you should be good to go. So tell well, us what you did. In this one, we didn't turn the power off, right? I what? think he was trying to get rid of me. Uh, maybe he just, he's tired of me asking. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. As the reasonable person <laughs> well, right I now, I need to remind everyone to turn the power off sorry. if you're going to be doing this. I was delirious by that time, but this is the after picture. The original life fixture clearly looked like something out of the 60s. No shade, but it was just dreadful. So this totally upgraded the light. We actually put the fixture in my husband's office, much needed. But it's super cute, and we use LED light bulbs. He had to totally school me on that, like... Right. How, how mm -hmm. much better it is or whatever, so. Well, listen, Lawrence and Dee, it was so much fun having you both here yes. today. And right. I know you have a bunch of other projects in the works, so we'll yeah. have you back and you can okay. tell us a sure. bit more next time. Thank you okay, so sure. much. Thanks.